Welcome to WordPress Daily with your host, Tom Mullins. This is episode number four, Ad Inserter. Hey guys, welcome to the show today. It's exciting to be here. Um, we're going to take a look at a plugin today. That plugin is called Ad Inserter. Um, it will allow you to insert ads uh, on your WordPress blog or your site, your pages. And we're going to go into details on how to set it up and how to use it, and we'll give it a rating as well. But first off, let's talk a little bit about who we are. Well, we're WordPress Daily. I'm Tom Mullins. We're part of the Tech Merge Podcasting Network, which you can find out more information about at www.techmerge.net. You can also like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash techmerge. We're available on Twitter at twitter.com slash Facebook or excuse me, TechMergeNet. So it's twitter.com slash TechMergeNet. And one of the great things about uh, the TechMerge Podcasting Network is we're all about merging technology with our faith. Thanks so much for watching today. Um, if you want to support us in the future, uh, you can do so by going to our Patreon site at patreon.com slash techmerge. Any donation in any amount would truly help us continue to do these podcasts each and every day and our other podcasts and our other content on the techmerge.net website. So let's just dive into uh, WordPress today and take a look. Um, so Ad Inserter, um, th there's a premium version of it as well, uh, but this is the free version that we're going to take a look at. And it basically allows you to insert ads anywhere within your WordPress site. So um, if you uh, go into uh, adding a new plugin and type in Add Inserter, uh, you'll come up with um, a page like this and you can download it and install it and apply it and activate it right within your WordPress site. So we've already kind of done that and you can see it's already active. So we're going to click on the settings. Um, there's not a whole lot of settings here. Most of it is based on the code um, that you um, would want inserted on your page. So for this demo purpose, we're actually going to um, put a, um, a button ad that will um, give you um, a Gravity Forum logo uh, on the site. That's the, that's the particular ad that we want. Uh, in this particular demonstration. We'll also do some other ads as well. Um, I'll put some text in just so we can see how it appears on the page and how it's laid out on the page and so forth and so on. So this particular program, uh, this is the free version. There is a premium addition to this plugin uh, and there is a fee for that. So because of that, we're gonna give this, mm, I'm thinking a three out of five. And there's a couple of reasons why I rated a three and not a full five. And that rating is for a couple of reasons. One of which is it's uh, there's a premium version of the plugin. Uh, the second version is kind of the way you have to add uh, the ads. Um, it makes it a little more difficult. Um, typically, I've used uh, web adverts or other advertising management software in the past. And... Um, it's a lot easier to add ads and you can actually add them into rotations uh, so that when an ad runs, it uh, will rotate between multiple ads each and every time. So there's lots of really cool things that we can do here, uh, but we're going to talk about Ad Inserter. This allows you to actually have up to 16 different ads. So um, here's, here's the code. This is the code that we got from Gravity Forum that we, we put in. Um, so we went ahead and inserted this. It's just simply cutting and pasting it right in. Uh, down below, we have the option of telling it where we want to put it to. So if we check mark posts, we can say we want it to appear on posts. If we check mark static pages, it will appear on static pages. If we check mark home page, it will appear in the home page. You can tell it to automatic insert and where. Do you want it to automatically insert before post? Uh, before content, uh, before paragraph, after paragraph, after content, so forth and so on. You can tell it how you want it 
aligned, okay? Uh, we're just going to use default in this particular case. And uh, let me change that back to default. And I'm going to choose the posts, and I can say individually disabled or individually enabled, which actually gives you an option within the post itself to enable or disable the ad insertion on that particular post. In this case, we're just going to want it to appear kind of pretty much everywhere uh, for demonstration purposes. So once we've kind of made this configuration change, we'll go here and save all settings. That saves that configuration. We'll go over to ad block number two. And we've got a little um, thing here that says this is a test advert. Now, I've managed to um, click a couple extra times here. So let's go back to where we were. And you can see I've typed this uh, with a capital T and a capital H. So it's going to appear a little bit different in, uh, in it. I, I kind of did that so we can kind of see that this is the ad text that I've put in. Uh, we're going to save that out as well. And that's actually going to only appear in post and it's going to be before content. Um, so we've kind of already made some custom changes. Um, you know, any type of code. I mean, this could be Java. This could be JavaScript. This could be um, an embed code. This could be um, just an image. Uh, this could be text and images. I mean, you can literally put whatever kind of HTML code that you would want, any kind of programming code in here, it could be even a short code, um, and insert it into these blocks and then determine where you want them to go. Now, my understanding is, and I haven't gotten this far, is my understanding is it will rotate those ads if you put multiple ads in the same spot, in the same location. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure on that yet, so we'll, um, you know, we... Uh, that's something to, to check out in the future. So, okay, not only have we taken a look, so we're going to go ahead and view the site, and we should see the Gravity Form logo appear on the site in the places we told it to. So, as we scroll down here on the front page, right, let's see. Really don't see a whole lot of content here. I don't see the logo on this page. Hmm, it's interesting. Another reason why maybe it's a three because it doesn't appear to be working the way we would expect it to. Um, and that's one of the beauties of the show is you know, we're going to dive into a, a plugin. We're going to look at it the way it is. We're going to just, you know, configure it and, and have it working. And just like you or me, just like anybody else that's building a WordPress website, um, we will dive into it that way. So we're going to go to blog large. Let's see if it appears in the blog listing. Now, there we go. So there's the icon. There is the graphics. If I click into a post, because we told it to appear on posts as well. If I click into a post, well, we ought to see it there too. And by the way, this is a test advert. So the test advert appeared the way it was supposed to. And guess what? The gravity icon appeared just like it was supposed to within the post. So, yeah, so Ad Inserter is working. I mean, the real reason why I wanted to explore Ad Inserters is really for the TechMerge website, uh, techmerge.net. Uh, we uh, were looking for a method, a plug-in to um, insert advertisements within our shows, our show notes uh, within our columns on the right hand side and the left hand side um, of our website so um, ad inserter was really the first one that I came across and demoed um, so I wanted to share that with all of you guys now currently it's maybe not the one that we're going to use permanently but um, I am going to set it up and configure it on our techmerge.net website so um, I'm so thankful that you guys joined us on the show today uh, my name is Tom Mullins. We're part of the TechMerge podcasting network at techmerge.net. You can subscribe to the show by simply going to iTunes and typing in WordPress Daily wherever podcasts are found, and you will come to our RSS feed and can add it. And every single day, uh, the episode will drop right into your device and be ready for you to watch and view. So we're very thankful for that, and we're just thankful for the use of technology, sharing great content, WordPress content, with you, our audience, each and every day 
on WordPress Daily. I'm Tom Mullins. You have a great and blessed day.